G'day guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Now today, it is another tier maker video. I'm going to be ranking AFL stadiums. Um, Hayden has made this on tiermaker.com, so if you're out there, Hayden, you're an absolute legend. If you want to make me a tier maker and you want to see me rank a certain thing, uh, yeah, go on to tiermaker.com, whip it up and DM me and I'll do it. So yeah, let's get into it. Let's see uh, what stadium I think is the best. Now, before I start, I've only been to a few stadiums. Um, I've been to the G, Etihad, Simmons, SCG, Adelaide Oval, and that is it, I believe. And I only went to Adelaide Oval and the SCG this year when I went to five games in five days. If you haven't seen it, look it up on YouTube. All right, so let's get into it. This, uh, some of these pictures are hard to see, to be honest. I didn't know what some of um, what some of the grounds were, but I think I've figured it out. So I'm pretty sure that's Optus Stadium. I'll give it an A, just for now. Um, it's really just a poor man's MCG if we're going to be short and sharp about the uh, about what it is. MCG, absolute my favourite ground. Um, I thought it was light years ahead of every other stadium. Hundred thousand seats. You can go general admission and sit uh, pretty much anywhere you want, which is cool. Like at Eddie had for years when I used to go to Eddie had, it would be. Um, oh, general admission, you've got to go up the top, but it's cool at the MCG. General admission, you can basically sit down the bottom, which is um, which is really, really sick. So that's why the G's up the top. The home of football. People want to take away the grand final from the MCG. And like some of the points people are raising are like, um, you can't take it away because it's, it's the biggest stadium in Australia. I don't care if they make a 200,000 seat stadium. It'd be weird to take away the AFL Grand Final from the home of football, like where the rules were written, where the, where the first bloody pig skin was kicked. Um, so yeah, that's why the MCG is at the top, Optus sitting second. Um, pretty sure this is Giant Stadium. Nice little boutique stadium. I'll chuck that in the B. Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's all right, does the job, quite serviceable. Um, went to the SCG earlier this year. Great stadium, real, real, a bit of history to it, which um, is what I loved. So I'm gonna put that in the A column for now, as I do in my tier makers. I do a little reshuffle at the end when I'm not quite happy with it, but I think, yeah, the SCG is in A category. Let's go through. Um, Launceston, probably a C. Doesn't do much for me. What, does that pack 5,000 people in? It's probably a great stadium for Launceston people, but when I chuck it on the TV and I have a glance at it, it doesn't do doesn't do heaps for me. Um, the surface is always good down in Tassie. All right, what else do we have? Um, TIO in Alice Springs. So I think there's two TIOs. I think there's one in Alice Springs, and there's one in Darwin. But the Alice Springs one, that's the one that has the, uh, the tree on the wing. I'm gonna put that C as well. It's just, it's, you know, usually a good deck in the, uh, in the red center, but, um, yeah. And I think the atmosphere would be good around Alice Springs having games there. So it's great for the, uh, the town, but in terms of stadiums, it's not that impressive. TIO Darwin, probably a C as well. Um, great deck as always, they get a lot of rainfall up there. So quality deck, but, uh, yeah, once again, I think there's better stadiums in Australia. Right, let, let, let's ping through. Um, Mars Ballarat. I'm gonna put it with uh, Giant Stadium. I reckon it's pretty cool. I used to do TSC Cup uh, radio, and I used to do it at Mars Stadium before it was Mars Stadium, and they had pretty much AFL change rooms, AFL facilities underneath. Um, and I reckon it's great that like I don't know regional Victoria has a cool little AFL town. They've put a little wing to it. Um, yeah, it's a nice little boutique stadium, so I reckon it's a cracker. So I've whacked it in the B. All right, what else do we have in here? Um, Canberra, once again, I like, I like it. It's not bad, but it's not that impressive, is it? So that's why it's a C. Um, Bluntstone, Bluntstone, Bluntstone's good. Bluntstone's pretty cool. I like the view, I think there's like a, a sea or an ocean just out the window. So I like that, whenever I'm watching the cricket at Bluntstone and they, they show the water, that's pretty cool. 
Um, but yeah, it's, it does the job, Blundstone, doesn't it? So that's why I'm gonna put Blundstone in the B. All right, Townsville. Probably a C, probably, nah, uh, yeah, it's all right. It's, it's, that's probably one of the smaller stadiums, I would say, out of this list. They don't play many games up there, probably one, one or two a year, but um, yeah, it's cool that the AFL does reach all parts of Australia, though. So, um, you know, more the merrier if we want more games in Townsville, but in terms of stadium, you know, once again, not that impressive. Shanghai. Now, it looks sick. It does look cool. Like, it, it looks quite... It's quite bricky, isn't it, the, uh, the Shanghai Stadium? Um, where does it go? Does it go B or C? I'm gonna put it C as well. There's a lot of subpar stadiums in this group, isn't there? Yeah, Shanghai Stadium. Yeah, I'll put it, yeah. Put it in the C. Nothing too impressive. All right, Gold Coast. Skoda, uh, not Skoda, what is it? Metricon. Looks cool from the outside, I drove past it once when I was up in Queensland. Um, I'll put in the C as well. It's, I like Blundstone more than uh, more than Metricon. Mars is a bit cooler than Metricon, a bit stiff, isn't it? Um, yeah, so I'll leave Metricon there, but as we always do on, the, on my tier makers, I reshuffle. What else do we have? So what is this one here? Oh, the Gabba. To me, the Gabba sucks. <laughs> no offense, Queensland fans, but the Gabba sucks in my opinion. Um, potentially D, potentially D for the Gabba. It sucks in cricket season and it sucks in, um, in footy season, especially when the lines are bad. Nothing worse than when um, the fifth quarter used to cross to, uh, <laughs> to, to to the game that was at the Gabba and it was just a bit dewy and it was just, you know, there was no one there. So the, the Gabba's currently in the D category, but we'll see. Now I've been to the last three stadiums. We've got Marvel, we've got Adelaide Oval, and we have Simmons, or what is it, GMHBA. I'm gonna put Marvel in the B category. Um, I think it's getting better. I think it's getting better. For a long time, I would go to Marvel and just get chucked up the top. Um, and the view up the top isn't too amazing. They've tried to make you feel like you're on top of the, the play almost, but I don't think they've done it very well. Whenever I go to the Marvel, it's just not, it's not that great. It's cool. Um, you're out of the weather, like that's elite. But I don't know, I, I, there was one time I went to um, the State of Origin there and I got chucked up next to that big box thing. <laughs> so I couldn't see half the game. Or there was a time where um, I was on the wing and that big bar is in the way. Or there was another time where I was on level one but up the back and you can't see if they kick the footy 20 meters in the air. So we're on the wing on level one, and I was like, oh, this is elite. We're on the wing on level one, but we were below level two, and it just cut off like half the play. Like any ball that went in the air, you just couldn't see. So I think there's some viewing restrictions at Marvel, but, um, and it's always a little bit dearer than the MCG, I find. Probably because I can't use my D's membership to get in there, but um, whenever I used to go to the G, it would be around 20 bucks. I went to Marvel the other day, it was 28. So yeah. It's not a bad stadium. It's probably better than, you know, your, your Launceston's, but yeah, I don't really love it. Adelaide Oval. I'll leave that till last. GMHBA. I've had some terrible experiences with GMHBA. Ticket prices, um, seating, like where they put us. Uh, they put us in the standing area. They put us just, you know, any away team that goes to GMHBA Stadium, I don't think many would say it's a great stadium to go to. And the people can be quite <laughs> crazy down there. The Geelong faithful, the Geelong nuffs, they're a scary bunch. But um, I'm gonna put GMHBA Stadium. Oh, it's a tough one. It's a tough one because I've gone to like local footy games and when you get to sit wherever you want, it's actually pretty cool. And the deck, the deck at Geelong's always, always, you know, quite elite, but 
I don't like the size of the ground. It's quite narrow for their AFL games. It's quite congested and just a bit shit. So it's... <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm going to put GMHBA on the bottom as well. All the Cats fans will be like, you hate Geelong. I've just, I've been there a lot and it's never been good. Adelaide Oval. For many years, I would say it was the G and then light years and then any other stadium. But after going to Adelaide Oval earlier this year, I would say, potential, yeah, it's probably up there. I reckon it's up there. So I reckon it's the G and Adelaide Oval as the S category. Haven't been to Optus. On TV, it just looks like a poor man's the MCG. Um, you know, three tiers, um, Coliseum type architecture. But Adelaide Oval, it's got its own little ring to it. It's got its own little thing. So that's probably my list. G, Adelaide Oval, Optus, SCG. I don't think, yeah, I don't think Marvel's up there with Optus or SCG. And then yeah, GMHBA, uh, yeah, I, I'm, pretty comfortable with the Gabba and GMHBA being down the bottom. Maybe I'll go to the Gabba and it'll change my mind, but um, yeah, that's another video guys. I Hopefully you enjoyed watching me go through uh, the stadiums of my choice. I really appreciate all the support and I'll see you very soon for another video. Cheers.